Hi guys, it's Renee and welcome back to my channel and today I'm reacting to episode 8 of Blood of Youth. I just posted my reaction for episode 7 yesterday so things are still actually fresh in my mind which is a nice change. Before we do get into it, I just want to say a quick a massive thank you to all my amazing patrons and channel members. If you're interested in joining either of those for early access and uncut reactions to things like Blood of Youth, the links to it will be in the description below along with my social media and my PO box. And if you want to subscribe, that's always greatly appreciated. But now without further ado, let's get into today's video. That, the random fighting scene doesn't make sense to me and also I do want to mention that I after posting the previous episode I became aware of the fact that there seems to be a romance between them in the future um, because I'm subscribed to Yoko's YouTube channel and one of the thumbnails kind of gives it away. So thank you Yoko for spoiling your own shows, you're doing really well with that. But I, I'm gonna need them to work for it because I am generally very picky when it comes to romances. Oh, okay, because he has the... Mm -hmm. I feel like you should maybe give that to Shao Si because I'm scared you might lose it. Is he allowed to do that though? Okay, so I'm not, I can't remember his name, but I'll remember his relation because I'm really struggling to keep it, everything in line. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. I mean, that's actually pretty decent. It's pr clearly not what he was hoping for, but it's it's decent predictions. Oh, that's beautiful shot. That's a very interesting editing choice. So I'm one, like, it's very interesting and it's obviously trying to tell me something, but I don't think I understand enough yet to get what it's trying to tell me. If I were to guess right now, based off of the very little information I feel I have, it's that sometime in the very near future, something's gonna happen to Shao so that will shape his path moving forward. Whoa. Okay, sorry, I'm getting kind of lightheaded with that. Okay. How this man is way too attractive. Which means what? It's interesting because the fact that he's asking such a direct question tells me that he probably knows a decent amount about divination. He maybe just wants confirmation of something that he already suspects. Sure. Oh, that's great. Are we about to find out that he is probably going to die before then? Okay. 
Did he just decide to make his own fate? So arrogant, but I so love it. When did they say that we're gonna join you? He's become so soft towards Lei Wujie, and I won't be told that otherwise. So much for not wasting any money. Oh, is that his um, mentor? I've just seen a glimpse of what Wei Wuxia would be like. I've just seen a glimpse of what Wei Wuxian would be like once he got old. Oh, I don't think... I said it was his master, no, I meant... I just meant we've met this guy before. I confused the master and this guy. I remember this guy was with the woman who was pretending to be a man. If I'm, if I'm even remembering correctly. It's such a beautiful shot. Why is he waiting for Charles's judgment? Like, I can only drink if my dad says I can drink. Okay, so I originally forgot to film this, so I thought I'd just quickly drop in to mention that the rest of the reaction will be linked in the description below, labelled as part 2. Be sure to come back and let me know what you thought, because I really enjoyed this episode so much, and otherwise I'll see you guys on the other side.